This is going to be in a two-parter, so welcome back. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It cut off on me, so this will be a two-parter here. Yes, that got cleaned up over there. Look at that. Except for that, that I actually have my fabrics covered. But I cleaned up over there. I'm like, you know what? Let me clean up, and I'll just put one of those trays right there. That looks kind of nice and styling. Um, I'm still working on that tray right there. It's blingy. Blingy, blingy. <laughs> so, um, when it comes down to the bodice of this, I still need to readjust because the bodice area isn't exactly up to par. I, it's the only sad thing I have to say about that bodice is it's not up to par. Um, I tried it on, went to try to fit it at certain points, and I'm like, well, let's wait until I get that middle panel on, and then we'll see about adding the darting in. I think that might be the best. We're not going to stress on that. So, <laughs> let's get back to this, shall we? Um, because... I've noticed with the threading that I have up here, not this one, that's my spare one, the threading that I have up here, which would be the same thickness as this one, this is the old school threading, you know, the really good stuff that old people have. I can't say grandma. Well, I could say grandma. I did call her grandma. I called both of them grandma because I wanted a grandma. And they didn't care. Even little grandma. She was Native American. And um, she let me call her grandma. She, in fact, she let me call her little grandma. And when I was a little girl, she used to have me... Um, sit with her and she would sing uh, Native American songs to me and then um, tell me you know you know you're special you're not like the other ones and then you know in adulthood I kind of figured that out because ah, the DNA says you're not the mother <laughs> so you know, we're not getting into that because, like, I have a lot of life to live and a lot of teaching to do. And I'm not going to let what somebody else did to me get me down and keep my life, you know, the way they want it. I'm going to live my life for me and teach. Nothing wrong with teaching. Um... You know, and I keep saying that, you know, I have the powwow coming up, and I do. And I need to do my regalia, which I do need to do. But I'm also paying to have my moccasins done for me, except for the beadwork. The beadwork I will be doing. So, I actually have a lot on my plate this year. Um, after doing two sewing challenges, um... I'm not going to be doing any sewing challenges after that for a while because I need to get my regalia stuff in order um, and get those moccasins ordered. Uh, once a month I will be doing a Slay Glam box right now with everything going on. Our Lady of Slay Glam um, is still recovering from her surgery so that's a given. Um, why did that turn off and then right back on? Probably because the temperature in here isn't right. But, um, and I also meant to light my oil over there. It's not really an oil now. The oil's, like, dried up in it. So I put a wax melt in there, and I meant to actually light that. Because the wax melt, like... The uh, body butter I just put on my hands is from Sin City Soaps and Candles. And you can still get 20% off your entire purchase with my promo code SHARSNATION10, all in caps. SHARSNATION10. Make 
she that in for Sin City Subs and Candles, a company that did not close down because they didn't have any need to. Um, because there's only two employees. <laughs> only two! So, they didn't have to go by this debauched guideline. So, um, and I, you know what? I'm thrilled that they didn't. Um, let me see something. Yep. I must thought that I had to pick up my scissors for a moment. No, that's not what I need. What I need is this. And just take the end right here. here. Yep. And I actually, sometimes I'll double check. Just to make sure that I have this line the right way and then kind of taut at the beginning of what I'm sewing. And I'll like pull that a little taut there. Oh, that's what I thought I was needing my scissors for. I do have like this weird long thread right here that I don't like those weird long threads. Like, I don't like them being there. It bothers me. Tell me if that bothers you when you have those long ass threads that don't belong there. Because they just didn't come off when you were the start of ending of something. And then you have your long threads there from your machine. So anyway, we're going to put this on the machine now. And remember, we're sewing the front. This is the front. So we're doing our fourth of an inch. I don't know why they want it to be a fourth, but I would say I would want to do it an inch. So let's get this sewing on the road. Yeah, I know with this laptop is completely different than the other one. You can actually hear me so. Right? A lot different. Sure, that's where it should be. And continue. And that's one thing about the pins. Sometimes the pins will pucker your fabric. And then when you take them out, you can make that top. Yeah, I was going to load a video yesterday speaking about something for one last time. But maybe we can just toss that in here while we're at it, right? Um, actually, what we're not dealing with is code, COVID-19. We're actually dealing with SARS. Um, and this is the very last time I'm speaking about it. Um, the World Health Organization, go to their website. They changed their website like twice yesterday and what we're actually dealing with is SARS not COVID-19. But we're dealing with the second stage of SARS or second virus strain of SARS. It's not COVID. So we're done talking about that. SARS is severe um, arrest of the upper respiratory system. Completely different, my friends. Completely different. 
And the only reason that they say a 14 day period is because that's how long it takes until it's out of the air. How about that for something? Woohoo! But they didn't want to tell us around the world. Now that you're educated on that part, let's get back to our regularly scheduled sewing. And my son that's um, law enforcement and a marine. <laughs> it's only 14 days. Because he himself knew something about all of his training with, um, with the Marine Corps. And also with being... Uh, Also being a part of a couple of law enforcement teams for uh, the military that it didn't seem right. It, it sounded kind of odd to him and I think it would sound kind of odd to the rest of the world. Uh, he figured it out too. So, um, okay. And we're going to pull that over there. You're like, well, why don't you just leave the light on? And just kind of pull that light over there. It gives you extra light. Indeed, these little bulbs are wonderful. I probably really need to get another lighting here. That one that I bought, it went... And it's not a regular light bulb. You know that? We'll do a video on that another time. Um, but, okay. Now that this is hemmed, and it's really nice, and it's crisp, and I'm not worried about the inside, but we're going to, again, take those threads off that we don't like, because we don't like that. We might like to get thready, but not that kind of thready spaghetti. Um, <laughs> this is the kind of thready we like getting to be. Is right here um, so when it comes down to this part this is what I try to do is make sure that you have excuse me the hemline of this facing towards the inside of this because what I did do over here on this one is just sew it over the top of this. Now you would think I would have rolled it. I didn't roll it because I'm like, I'm not a small gal. And I'm going to admit that to the world. I am not a small gal. I got bazonkers, um, <laughs> bazookas. Um, I have two sets of frontal rib cage, which, you know, makes me a little uncomfortable with some garments. You know, when you're born with an abnormality like that, you, you tend to be, like, kind of self-conscious about what you can and cannot wear. Um, so what I do at this point is um, figure out where... The end of this tube needs to be sewn shut. Okay, so that's what we're doing right here is sewing the end of the tube closed. And we will attach it on here. Am I too worried about it being a rolled hem? No, not really. And why? Because I am, again, just going to be using um, my one stitch that I've been using, which is... Sometimes I'll call it overlocker because I've been watching Annika Victoria for so long. Um, and then for anybody else in the English language, it's actually a serger stitch. 
So, um, in some countries, it's called overlocker. I don't mind using that terminology because then everybody's understanding what I'm saying. So, let's get this overlocking serger stitch a sewing. And then the needle up. I don't even know why I grabbed for this side. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And then, you know, you've noticed me putting the foot down. That's to hold the threading. Clip it. I'm not too worried about that because now that's been stitched. Take off those extra little threads we don't like. I eventually need to invest. Uh, see, I always call this investment. To me, this is an investment. Um, I do eventually need to invest in some pumpkin shears. I think I said that in another video, but um, yeah, I do need to invest in a pair of the. Ooh, my hands itching. Who's getting paid? Um. <laughs> right oh that's something if you never knew this it's, it's an old tale of where money comes from like from one hand to the other like if your hand itches it's like you may be getting money from an unexpected place so uh, let's place that in mind right okay so back to that front panel And putting this with it now that that's there that'll actually more hold that and that's boondaba very boondaba <laughs> it's very it is very lovely that that will be happening now on here what I did was I pinned it laying this down now you guys might think this is a little weird i pinned it laying it down this way and why because i mean i can still take out these threads but it's not really going to hurt anything um because when you come back to the other side you can stitch in the ditch stitch in the ditch that's right I think every once in a while we all do that little top stitch. It's also called stitch in the ditch. Now, this is what I mean by this might seem a little weird. Because it seems like one side, one panel is a lot more even. So that other panel may have been cut a little weird. Um, it may have. So... Uh, when it comes down to, or one of these tubes may have been cut a little longer than the other one by accident. But still, we're going to roll that back anyway when we get to the top of this and use that um, and not have to worry about it. Yep. What am I doing here? Okay. Anyway, like, what am I doing? I'm like looking at this, I'm like, is something off here? I know I need to like cook my dinner soon. And that's why we always reference back like how do we actually actually do this? Um always turn your garment if you don't feel like something's right on how you're doing this. And make sure, absolutely sure, that you have this correct. I, I'm doing a left-handed thing, and <laughs> I, I am. I'm doing a left-handed thing. I can do that. You know why? I'm ambidextric. 
How many of you out there are ambidextric? You might pronunciate it a little different than I do, but I'm actually ambidextric. Okay. So put, put your pin in there. Pin it. And um, after I do this video, I'm actually going to go eat. Um, because I, like I said, I got up late today. And that's actually not good for my health. For being a, a seizure patient. You know, an epilepsy patient. And for being thyroid. It's not so good. Um, also, my thought... Uh, my train of thought, there we go. Um, my train of thought might be off a little bit today. Not by much, just a poquito. Um, because I suffered not just that one seizure yesterday. I suffered one last night. But look, does that stop me? I'm right here with all of you. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, if people with serious health issues can get through a lot of stuff, you can get through it too. You can get through it too. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. You can get through it. A lot of us won't tell you the rest of our ailments because we're kind of embarrassed of them. Um... A lot of times my speech will slur and my train of thought will go off a little bit if my sugars drop. I'm hypoglycemic as well. I used to be diabetic. It actually, it's good to keep cheese in the house if you're diabetic because if your sugars go low, you actually need the protein glucose off of that. Um, I'm kind of tired of hearing, oh, don't eat cheese if you're diabetic. The protein glues close off of a diet, off of cheese is actually going to help you. You can't have things like orange juice, and I can't have orange juice. I'm a li allergic to the concentration of it. So, I tr do try to keep some things around the house have a cheddar glucose cheese. Um, even though I'm lactose intolerant, I will do that. Also having fruit, um, only eat a specific amount of fruit if you're hypoglycemic and or diabetic. That affects obviously your sugar count. Um, which not a lot of people out there in the world are saying da 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 don't eat a lot of fruit or drink a lot of juices so I pick a lot of this thread out because it's not going to look pretty when I'm done sewing and we try to make our stuff look nice right so um let me show you how I'm actually pinning this um because you need to know so I have this down here now when this is actually turned like this is my goodness my belly is in the way um <laughs> like this is let me bring Manny Quinn over here a little bit better um then uh you will end up with this clean hemline here and it'll look really nice because I'm going to match it trying to go across, across as much as possible instead of coming down at that angle, uh, which is great for this. Now I'm starting to like this better and I think the fit might be better. And then when I go to put in panel 11, which panel 11 makes no sense to me at all, it literally gets hidden behind this. So it actually gets sewn back here, but behind 10 attached to 8 and 10, which by the way is kind of weird, but it's all right. Um, <laughs> because that's what makes the skirting panel 
have this flow to it and instead of have like you can see here but since mine's is going to be one fabric it's going to be hanging like this on the skirt the bodice obviously you guys know i'm doing my bodice a little bit different my throat stretch <clears throat> Let me take care of that dry throat with some water. And um, when it comes down to that, for this area and then the bodice, which this bodice piece, I'm going to laugh about that. That's kind of funny. It's going to just make a cute vest to wear with some jeggings. Or a nice pair of leggings or a different skirt or something. Um, which I have no problem with. I can deal with that. It's kind of like wearing the ugly sweater, but it's like the ugly Easter vest. <laughs> Wait, there's something in the sewing community we should do. Think about this. The ugly Easter vest. <gasps> there's the first one. <laughs> It's like the Christmas ugly sweater. Come on, guys and gals. The ugly Easter bath. <laughs> Brought to you today by Char. And staying positively positive because I've been on here for 30 minutes. And, um,. I about have this pinned down, but I really need to go eat. So you know what? Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, because this is funny, because it ended up being part two. <laughs> and as always, stay blessed and be normal. Wait, what is normal? There is no such thing as normal. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. All right, for someone's show.